my name's Fawad Raifi. Um, my friends call me Habib. I'm 32 years old. I'm about to start a Bachelor of Social Work um, at Deakin. Yeah. I started smoking in about year seven or eight. Um, I would have been about 13 years old. Um, I guess I used to see the kids smoking behind the portables at school and like I wanted to be part of that. Um, so I'd steal cigarettes from my dad and, and take them to school and, and hand them out. And um, I guess through handing out cigarettes, I, I bought friendships. Um, and I smoked uh, for a good 15 years, um, anywhere from 10 cigarettes um, a day to, to a pack a day. Um, and I, I gave up when I was 28? Uh, absolutely not. Like, um, I, I thought going to rehab and giving up drugs was enough and that I didn't really think smoking affected me that much. I was still quite active and, um, you know, I, I got to the gym and I, I enjoyed sports and um, it didn't really, wasn't really affecting my health and I didn't see any reason not to, to give up smoking. and. Um, so I, was, I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm pretty sure like when, when I was admitted to, to rehab, they asked if, if I thought about quitting smoking and I definitely said no. I guess it first came onto my ra radar about like six months into rehab. Um, I noticed people around me were quitting smokes um, and they were really uh, succeeding. And I started to feel better about myself um, I felt healthy and, and physically fit and um, I thought I'd give it a, chance, a, a go, you know. I definitely think it's, it's helped with my AOD recovery. Like what I've noticed since I've quit smoking is um, some space between um, my like getting angry and having cravings to use drugs, um, which used to, used to happen. Um, now I find myself getting angry and having craving to have a cigarette and a, a craving for a cigarette, uh, for me, it's much easier to manage um, because like I, I know I don't want to smoke and I know that it's not really going to relieve this emotion um, and I'm, I'm able to sort of feel my way through it a lot easier than if it was that craving for a drug. The service that I, I went to, they had um, uh, so they offered incentives um, to quit smoking. So uh, they, they offered free NRT um, and they had what something that was called a fruit club. Um, so uh, during afternoon tea, um, instead of going out and smoking with the other clients, um, we'd, we'd sit around and eat fruit. Um, and uh, once a week, um, the, the nurse who ran the fruit club, club would, would take people out um, for an outing, for a coffee and a cake. Um, I hear they go bowling these days, but I never got to go bowling. <laughs> um, and, and then I, I actually moved to a service who was a non-smoking facility, um, and that definitely um, helped. I definitely, I, I, I wake up and I feel better. Um, I smell better. I don't wake up with a dry mouth like I used to. Um, I'm not coughing up phlegm like I used to. Um, I'm not having to leave places to go outside to have a cigarette like I used to. Um, I feel like fit. I feel um, strong. I, 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 def I feel fitter than I've ever felt, you know, like I'm a 32 year old, but I feel like I'm in an 18 year old's body. It's great. I guess really early on, I was always encouraged to um, to smoke as much as I needed to to get through um, early days of of recovery. Um, and what I found is I was just filling that void of of no drugs with um, nicotine. Um, and more recently, I've I've learnt about the research that uh, correlates quitting drugs and um, nicotine at the same time and, and how uh, much more chance you have of, of staying off of drugs. Um, if I'd known about that research earlier, I'd be much more likely to, to try to quit smoking earlier. I, I guess like quitting smoking was 
um, really scary for me to even think about. Um, but I just, I tried um, and like I'd make mistakes and I'd smoke and then I just kept trying and um, it's a bit like that ad that they, they show on TV. Like um, the more times you try, the more likely you are to quit. Um, and my experience was just that, like I just kept trying and I got better at it and I learned new ways to cope and, um, and now I've been smoke free for a long time.